Good afternoon and welcome to Lovington Wildcat Baseball from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. This afternoon's game is brought to you by the Lovington Municipal Schools, Stone Oil Field Services, the Lee County Electric Cooperative, First American Bank of Lovington, Lovington Auto Supply in Napa, Devon Energy, Eunice Pump and Supply, Western States Insurance, and Bob Thriftway from Wildcat Park. I'm TJ Miracle alongside Don Morgan getting ready for the start of this non-district pre-Good Friday matchup between the Lovington Wildcats and the Ruidoso Warriors. And Don, two teams who've had uh, kind of opposite seasons. The Cats are 3-9 and nine on the year, but they did win their last game. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, going up against Ruidoso, 6-2 and two on the year. And Ruidoso, with the exception of those two losses, is averaging like 14 runs a game. They wow. can definitely bang. Right, uh, definitely a lot of offensive production that we're looking for there and looking to try to control in this game. If you're Lovington, you're going to want to try to still those bats as much as you can, or at least if they uh, get on base, try to keep them from getting around and in. But uh, yeah, Lovington, a little bit of a, of, a, of, a, of a slow start and a little rocky, but they've been coming along and they've had, you know, a couple of wins here uh, fairly recently. So they're coming off of a little momentum, gaining a little confidence. And of course, it's all building toward the start of district, which is not that far away. No, it is not. Let's go and give you the starting lineups for these two squads for the visiting Warriors of Ruidoso. Under head coach Chris Barretta, they are 6-2 and two on the year right now. They are the number four team in Class 3A on the Max Preps rankings, and they are led by number four, their catcher, Gabriel Johnson, batting second and playing in right field is Trenton Hall. Batting third is the left fielder, Justin Mendez, batting in the cleanup spot and pitching will be Logan Sandoval batting in the five spot playing first base Omar Guerrero batting sixth and playing shortstop is Carson Stratton batting seventh is the third baseman Andres Marmalejo batting eighth is the center fielder Josiah Size and batting in the nine slot and playing second base will be Jensen Thetford. Turning the page for your Lovington Wildcats under first year head coach Christian Cruz three and nine on the season and like I said, though, they did get a win their last game, 10 nothing, as they run-ruled Los Alamos. And leading off will be the shortstop, Cam Ochoa. Batting second is the DH, Matthew Hernandez. He'll be hitting in place of Abraham Rodriguez, who plays right field. Batting in the third slot and playing center is Ryan Weiser. Batting in the cleanup spot, playing third will be Micah Pondo back from the basketball team. No, Coach Cruz is glad to have him back. Batting in the five slot and catching is Ethan Gonzalez. Batting sixth and playing in left field, Patrick Sanchez. Batting seventh, playing first, Fidencio Lujan. Batting eighth and playing second, Aiden Paredes. And batting in the nine slot and pitching will be Josiah uh, Guana. So that'll be how Lovington takes to the field as the coaches meet out. Of course, now my phone decides it wants to start blowing up, but that's the way it generally works in these things. So, all right, well, we're just getting ready for what should be a good afternoon for baseball. We're going to be looking about 73 degrees at first pitch. Uh, winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour and pretty much blowing straight out. That could uh, make some difference in the offense today. It may, uh, definitely. And, of course, this game starting fairly early at 4 o'clock. So probably, you know, it's uh, going to be later in the game before the shadows get l really long across the field and the wind is supposed to continue to be a little gusty tonight. So it may not die down, really, as the sun goes down. But uh, we, we should get most of this game done before that time anyway. Well, we certainly should. And hopefully it will be a good pre-Good Friday game, pre-Easter weekend. Of course, a lot of action going on all over the place and we're glad to have you with us here this afternoon. So a 10-0 win against Los Alamos and their third win in I think like five games. They got a couple of wins at the Artesia tournament, which is usually a pretty tough tournament, and they picked off Powake Valley and Moriarty right. at that tournament in pretty convincing fashion in, in both of those games. Yeah. So went two for three at that tournament, and I think that's a, a good sign that maybe they're in the right direction and then beating up on Los Alamos too. Usually a, a fairly strong team. Right. So I'd, I'd say they're gaining some momentum, and uh, that's a, that's where you want to be. If you get a slow start, you want to build a little bit and, of course, try to peak as you're heading into district and hopefully uh, sharpen up and use the Rodoso and this uh, strong team, the Warriors are coming in, to, to be able to do that. It's a tool. 
Well, it certainly is. And, of course, for years and years and years, and it still feels almost a little wrong to not have these two teams in the same district. Right. But they were district rivals for really for decades as they get ready for the playing of the national anthem. We'll go ahead and take a timeout, come back with the first pitch as Wildcat Baseball continues in a moment. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the products you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Devin and, and welcome back to Lovington Wildcat Baseball here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com, and the Z94 KZOR Facebook page. Alongside Don Morgan, I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us on a bit breezy, but really a very pleasant afternoon for baseball here in southeast New Mexico. As I continue to just check the camera out here and get the angles right, make sure that we're good to go as uh, the Lovington Wildcats are out there on the field taking the warm-up pitches. They are almost ready to get this one first pitch underway. And, of course, leading off for Rudo, so it'll be Gabriel Johnson. He's hitting 714 on the young season. He's also their leading home run hitter and obviously their leading on baseman. But between he and Logan Sandoval, who's hitting 550, that's a pretty good punch towards the top of that lineup. In the field for your Wildcats, it's uh, Guana and Gonzalez. They are your battery, and then it'll be Lujan, Paredes, Ochoa, Pondo around the infield, first to third. Sanchez, Weiser, and Rodriguez, the outfield, left to right. So it'll be Johnson, Hall, and Mendez. That is the leading three for Ruidoso, followed by Sandoval, Guerrero, Stratton, Marmalejo, Size, and Thetford. So the Cats wearing the home white unis today. The white unis with the blue letters and numbers, the light blue pinstripe, and the white lids with the blue caps for visiting at Ruidoso. They are in the home, or rather the road navies today with gray pants, white letters and numbers with gold trim. As they are taking, giving the guys a lot of warm-up time out I there. Noticed, yeah. And sometimes these, uh, Sometimes these games are going very, very long. They seem to be giving a, a lot of time between uh, at-bats, and, uh, you know, there's no pitch clock, of course, in high school baseball, and so some of these games uh, can get kind of lengthy. We're just doing the one today. It's not a doubleheader, and, uh, you know, a pretty good amount of fans, I see, and, uh, on the Rodoso side, and, and uh, Lovington. This is kind of an early game. I expect along 5 o'clock when quitting time uh, gets gets to be here for a lot of folks that will start filling out the home stands just a little bit more. So it'll be Johnson. He will step in and lead things off for the Warriors outfield, playing fairly straight away, although Rodriguez not playing very far back in right at all, only about halfway back. So Johnson will settle into the right side box, on and ready to go, and he'll kick and fire, and that first one is on the outside corner called strike one. So 0-1-1 the count. We are underway, top of the first inning. Rudoso and Lovington, a non-district tilt here on a Thursday afternoon. As Josiah Reddy kicks, fires, and that one is going to be low and away. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. Infield pretty much their normal positions, as we mentioned. The wind gusting up to 25 miles an hour and blowing really out, kind of right to left, but it is mostly out. 
If you get one high, the wind could play havoc with it. The 1-1 one, one pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up over on the right side. Wind carrying that one and having to slide over into the hole is Rodriguez, but he will make the grab on the long pop fly out for out number one. So that will bring Trenton Hall, the right fielder for the Warriors, to the plate. And uh, the, the uh, outfield is, is playing fairly uh, fairly close in. And in the right field out there, Rodriguez didn't have to move back much. He moved over to the right a few steps, so was able to grab that one and keep that one. So Hall will settle in, sets up right at the plate level of the first of the right side box. And the first pitch is high for ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. As down flashing the signs is Gonzalez. Sire ready to go, and the 1-0 pitch, and that fastball is going to run inside, and checking it up is Hall. And he makes the count, two balls and no strikes. So the two-ball, no-strike count just underway, one down top of the first inning. From here in Lovington this afternoon, and the 2-0 pitch, and that one is going to stay high. And a 3-0 count. So you need to bring it down a little bit. So the three ball, no strike count. Dustin Mendez waits on deck. And the 3-0 pitch, and that one is going to be inside, ball four. And so Hall works the four-pitch walk, so now it'll be Dustin Mendez to the plate. Mendez, the left fielder. So he will settle into the right side box. Slightly open stance. Where's the big leg guard on the front leg? And he will swing at that one, and it is hit high in the air to deep left field. Going back in front of the scoreboard is Sanchez, and he will make the grab and then toss it in quickly to keep Hall over at first. So Mendez saw one he liked and flew out to left field. So two down now for Ruidoso with their cleanup hitter, Logan Sandoval, to the plate. Sandoval, the big tall righty, is getting the start today on the mound. Slightly over three for his ERA, I believe, but hitting 550 from the plate. And so he's got a speedy haul over at first, and the first pitch is going to come inside and has to pick up the back leg to get out of the way of ball one. Well, nice work by Gonzalez, uh, getting that, trapping it, and keeping it from getting past him. Otherwise, I think the speedy haul at first would be sitting on second or out about now. On a from the stretch. Checks on haul over at first. Lujan holds him on, and the 1-0 pitch, and that one is going to be high for ball number two. Going to be important for Lovington. Uh, they're doing well so far. Three batters up, two down. They just need to really work this third out, though, and try to be as efficient as they can. So with two ball, no strike count. Hall with about a step and a half off of first. Lujan will hold him on. And the 2-0 pitch swung on, and that one is going to be fouled over to the third base box. Coach Becerra, Barrera, pardon me. I knew a Chris Becerra played baseball with him back in high school, but that's not him. <laughs> Different last names. It is strike one, though. So with two ball, one strike count, two down. Cats trying to get out of the top of the first inning with no damage done. Rana checks on the runner, now comes to the plate. The 2-1 swung on, and that one is hit high in the air to deep left field and going back and watching that one bounce off the fence is Sanchez plays it off the carom and then will toss it in. Coach Barrera will signal around, and Pondo with the bobble, and that will let Trenton Hall come all the way in to score as Sandoval will have the RBI double. And so one run across for Ruto, so as they draw first blood here this afternoon. And now runner at second, and Omar Guerrero, the first baseman to the plate. Sandoval going to stand and run for himself. Out but he did, uh, he went and got the uh, the uh, sliding glove. Or the yeah, the... Outside corner, good pitch, and it'll be strike one. So no ball, one strike count. One run across for Ruto, so with two outs, they lead one to nothing, top of the first. I text the runner, keeping him honest over there is Paredes, and he'll come to the plate, and that'll be a slow roller as Pondo gets it on the run, fires over to Lujan at first in time, five 
to three for out number three. But Rodoso puts a run on the board in their half of the first. After a half inning, Rodoso won. Lovington coming to bat. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills are youthful used to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! When it comes to your hard-earned money, Selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcecnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. And welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the top of the first inning, Rodosa scored one run on one hit. There were no errors, one left on base. We go to the bottom of the first. Wildcats are coming up to bat, and with the call, here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. Cam Ochoa will lead it off. He'll be followed by Matthew Hernandez and then Ryan Weiser in the field for Rodoso Sandoval on the bump, and Johnson is his battery mate. You've got Guerrero, Thetford, Stratton, and Marmalejo around the infield first to third and the outfield is Mendez, Size, and Hall from left to right. A very long time between these two innings. That was uh, over more than we're, two minutes. We're, we're, we're going at two on and three, and a half. We're yeah, going on three, three minutes now, yeah. 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 So it took Stratton a very long time to get out there. There goes the throw to second. And so now Ochoa will lead it off. It's Ochoa, Hernandez, Weiser, Pondo, Gonzalez, Sanchez, Lujan, Paredes, and Ghana. Well, the Cats trailing one to nothing, but this is their first at bat, so they'd like to get that one back here in this first inning. Put up a crooked number if possible. Yeah, they need to. They need to keep pace. Uh, you can't, you know, let the other team have, uh, you know, a run and inning and not score yourself. So offensive production is, is the job here for the Wildcats starting now. Sandoval, the lanky righty from the wind, and his first pitch will be a fastball in the outside corner. Throw smoke. And that'll be called strike one. So an O-ball, one strike count. Outfield for the Warriors is playing fairly deep. Mendez is shading over towards the line and left in the second pitch. Top of the zone, outside corner, called strike two. Size out in center, playing straight away. Huge hole left center. And Sandoval quickly back to work in the 0-2 pitch. Fastball in there, called strike three. As Ochoa goes down, looking one down. And the first K of the ball game for Sandoval. So now it'll be the D.H. Matthew Hernandez to the plate. Hernandez hitting in place of Abraham Rodriguez, who's playing in right. So Hernandez D.H.ing and in the two slot. We'll settle in as Johnson sets up outside. Fastball right down the pipe. Swung on and missed. And that'll be strike one. Four strikes, four pitches. I'd say that's pretty efficient for Sandoval up on the hill. Works quickly in the 0-1 pitch, and that one will be high for ball number one. No one ball, one strike count, one down. Bottom of the first inning. Wildcats trailing one to nothing. Sandoval deals the 1-1 one, one fastball outside corner at the knees. Yes, sir, strike two. And the Wildcats will 
have to start taking some swings, get the bat off the shoulder. One, two pitch, swung on and missed, and that will sit down Hernandez. Back to back strikeouts for Sandoval, and now Ryan Weiser to the plate. Weiser, the center fielder for the Wildcats. The harder the pitch, the harder they hit. You just got to uh, catch up with the timing, get the timing right, and try to. Try to meet it. So far through two batters, Sandoval really not doing anything fancy. He's just running it up there and saying, hit it if you can. First pitch, fastball, and that went a little bit outside for ball number one. Ian Johnson decided, okay, if he's going to call the outside corner, let's establish for sure where that is. And the 1-0 pitch, and that fastball is going to be letter high towards the inside and even things up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count, Sandoval deals, and that fastball, letter high, outside corner, called strike two. So the one ball, two strike count. He's here with the open stance and the pitch, swung on and missed, and Sandoval will strike out the side. The Cats go down one, two, three. We head to the second, Rodoso one, Lovington nothing. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment from No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Field Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services, Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Welcome back. Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the bottom of the first inning, Lovington went three up, three down, three strikeouts. No hit, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on. We go to the top of the second inning. Rodoso coming up to the plate. They lead one to nothing. And with the call, here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. It'll be six, seven, and eight. Do up for the Warriors in their half of the second. Carson Stratton, Andres Marmalejo, and Josiah Sines. That'll be six, seven, and eight. So Stratton will step in. He's ready, and he'll deal the first one. Swung on, and that one's going to be drilled to left center. Going back, back, back. That is over the head. Uh, bouncing off of the wall as Stratton is in with a leadoff stand-up double. As he didn't wait at all, he saw one he liked there from Josiah and just put the charge in it and shot it out there. So now it'll be Andres Marmalejo to the plate with Rudoso trying to get a little second inning something going. As timeout on the field while... The extra <laughs> accoutrements. <laughs> this is something well, that's, you know, the last probably four or five years, you know, you've got. It started in the bigs and yes, then it, it filter, filters, filters down. down. That's right. So you've got the, uh, the the oven mitt, as we like to call it. Oh, yeah, the oven mitt. The, and sliding, you've got a... the sliding mitt, uh, base runner's mitt, whatever you want to call it, base runner's glove. They've got to take off, of course, the shin guards and the everything else. And the first pitch will be high to Marmaleo, ball one. The elbow pads and the right, all the all the safety equipment. Oh yeah, and get ready to get down, lean and mean. Of course, now he's a base runner that could be picked off. One zero pitch swung on, and that'll be a chopper handling it as Ochoa backhands it, fires over to Luhan at first in time, and we'll get Marmalejo six to three for out number one. But it does move Stratton over to third, and so now Josiah size to the plate, the number eight hitting center fielder. He hits eighth, he wears eighth, he plays position eight. Yeah, I noticed that, uh, filling out the book, three eights right there in a row. So, a right-handed batter. So far, all of Rudoso's batters have been right-handed. Ghana will look in, get the sign from Gonzalez, checks on the runner at third, kicks and fires, breaking ball, and that one is going to miss for ball one. Took a little speed off of that, and it's ran up a little bit high. And he thought, uh, I thought size kind of flinched at it, thought he might chase, but he didn't offer. So, we'll settle back in. Chokes up a little bit on the bat, and the 1-0 pitch swung on, and that one's going to be fouled off. 
right back into the plate, and the count evens up at a ball and a strike. It hit him, but he was still in the box, so foul ball. So the one ball, one strike count. Runner at third is Stratton getting a pretty good lead. Pondo over there and on the edge of the grass. Going to try and cut off a bunt or something that comes down the line, and the 1-1 pitch swung on. Size gets a piece of that one and fouls it off for strike number two. So the one ball, two strike count. Wind continues to gust 25 plus miles an hour. It's moving from right to left across the field. You might can see the flag out there. It has shifted a little bit. It was blown almost straight out when, when we got here earlier. Donna checks the runner, now comes to the plate. One, two pitch swung on and that will be a slow roller just foul which is a pretty good thing because Pondo got it but then sailed it home, but it was already foul, so. No harm. Nope, as Stratton will trot back over to third. In size, fighting off the pitch to stay alive. One and two the count, one down, one out. Of course, just single game this afternoon from here in Lovington, Wildcat Park. One ball, two strikes. Pondo in on the edge of the grass, so is Lujan over at first. Size in the batter's box, and the one-two pitch, that one oh, breaks in there. Nice. Yes, sir, ring him up, oh. set him down. Strikeout number one for Ghana, and now two down for Ruidoso, and their number nine hitter, Jensen Thetford, to the plate. Yeah, nice pitch. Uh, Ghana decided to change things up a little, slow the speed down, hit the zone, though. And I think it took uh, size by surprise. I think so. So now Thetford, the number nine hitter to the plate. He'll take the first pitch as it sweeps across the plate. Strike one. No, no ball, one strike count as Coach Barrera over there hollering, come on, let's go. Yeah, Lovington would like very much to go ahead and get this third out without giving up any runs in this at bat for Rodoso. Yes, they would. Shut them down and start with the top of the order in the third. Right. And the 0-1 pitch on the way, and that curveball swung on and missed, but it gets away from Gonzalez and going to be far enough back that it is going to score Stratton from third on the passed ball. So the passed ball plates a run, and Rudoso now up two to nothing. It does clear the bases, though, and it's an 0-2 count on Thetford at the plate. And a good pitch for Anna, just not, uh, not handled cleanly by Gonzalez, and it let the run score. Thetford settles back in. Messiah looks in, gets the sign in the 0-2 pitch, and that one's going to be high for ball one. Well, the one ball, two strike count. Cats and the Warriors from here in Lovington this afternoon. Now back out of the regular wind. Onik delivers the 1-2, and that one's going to be low for ball two. We were uh, originally scheduled to be here on Tuesday night as uh, on the schedule there was to have been a, a, a doubleheader against Dexter here at Wildcat Field, but we were informed that uh, that those games did not happen, were not going to happen, because Dexter doesn't have a baseball team anymore, apparently. Yeah, not able to uh, field enough players, I right, guess. Right, so. right. so it's a two-ball, two-strike count. It's Thetford had stepped out and asked for confirmation on the count. Donna taking a long look in with Gonzalez, and Thetford asked for time, and it is granted. You'll see that a lot with pitchers who are a little more deliberate. The batter will be like, nope, you're, you're breaking with my rhythm, so they'll give me time, I'll take it. So he steps back in with a two-ball, two-strike count. Josiah will deal the 2-2, two -two and that one's going to be low and in. Ah. Ah, there must have been a balk called, because I have that as ball three. So, yeah, there must have been a balk called, which would, would have made it a three and two count. So the walk on the balk, after the balk, I should say, will turn it over to Rodoso as now Johnson will step back in. Johnson with a high pop out to right. His first time up is 0 for 1. So Thetford stands at first. Pretty good lead over there as Lujan will hold him on. Line in the first pitch swung on, and that is a chopper. Ochoa gets it, is going to underhand it to Paredes, who takes the short way to get Thetford 
six to four for out number three. And so the Cats do a pretty good job in that inning, but a run does score on a passed ball. We've played an inning and a half. It's Rudoso two, Lovington nothing. Lovington Wildcat baseball continues from No Allmark Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Attention shoppers. Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the product you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396 1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball from Wildcat Field on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the top of the second inning, Rodosa scored one run on one hit. There were no errors, one left on base. We go to the bottom of the second. Lovington coming up to the bat. They trail two to nothing with the call. Here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. Mike Capondo leads it off. He'll be followed by Ethan Gonzalez and then Patrick Sanchez. So the Cats trying to dig out of a two to nothing hole. Pretty easy to do. But they've got to get the bats clicking as in the first, Sandoval struck out the side. He's ready to go in his first pitch to Pondo. Fastball swung on and missed. And that'll be strike one. Hey, if the ump's going to call him there, you got to start swinging at him. That's true. And, uh, and you swing uh, enough, and you're going to figure out the time. Well, one pitch eventually. swung on, and that one is going to be popped right. up over on the right side. It goes into shallow right field. Trouble, and trouble. that's going to fall as the wind catches it as Thetford loses it in the wind. And a charging haul can't get to it either, so it'll be a bloop single for Pondo into right. And so now the Cats trying to get everything untracked. And now Ethan Gonzalez to the plate. So Gonzalez will step in the catcher. Going to look to move Pondo around. And Lovington going to do what they can to chop into this 2 to nothing lead. So now Sandoval from the stretch. Checks on Mike at first. Comes to the plate. Fastball. And that one will be just high for ball one. Yeah, we'll see um, how this changes things, if at all, for this pitcher. Yeah, some pitchers don't like pitching out of the stretch as much. Doesn't seem to be slowing him down much in the 1-0 pitch. Fastball, snap throw down to first, Ooh. and Pondo was almost caught sleeping. He managed to dive back in under the tag of Guerrero, but a good throw by Johnson. And should be two balls. I believe it? so, yeah. Two and oh should be, I think. Yeah. Yep, so a two ball, no strike count. Winfield double play positions. The runner at first, Pondo goes, and the pitch swung on. Hit and run was on for Coach Cruz, and that one's into the parking lot. Please don't hit the white Toyota. Strike one. Nice cut at it, though, and he caught it a little bit late, a little off the end of the bat, but, hey, just a little bit sooner. And, uh, like I say, this uh, this pitcher seemed very, very intimidating, very threatening, I think, for Lovington at first, but I think they just stand up there, keep swinging, keep working at it. They're going to catch this. They're going to catch the timing. 2 1 pitch swung Good, on. That nice. one is going to be popped up into the infield, and coming in is Guerrero ah. between first and 
the mound and makes the grab, so Gonzalez pops it up. Nuguerrero, so there's one down. Now Patrick Sanchez to the plate. When you first make contact with that, I really thought it was to go out more than up. So one down now for the Wildcats. Sanchez, the number six hitter, steps in. Gennaro holding on Pondo over at first. Micah getting about a step, step and a half over the Stratton still from the stretch. He'll deal. First pitch swung on and missed. That is, I think, the first on fastball that Sandoval has thrown. And over the top is Sanchez for strike one. Oh, no ball, one strike count. Lovington with their first hit of the game here in the second, their first base. Down on the outside corner. Sandoval in the 0-1 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. And it's a no ball, two strike count. Sanchez is back in there ready to rock and roll as soon as Sandoval gets set. Bends over at the waist, takes the long look into Johnson. And the 0-2 pitch swung on and missed as he got Sanchez to chase the high heater. And there are two down now, four Ks for Sandoval, and now it'll be Fidencio Lujan to the plate. Fidencio, one of the lefties for Coach Cruz. So the first non-right-handed batter for either side is Lujan. Hate for a good hit like Pondo's to go to waste end and leave him out on the bases. Want to bring him around, get a little two-out rally going here. Sandoval will come to the plate, and that one will be outside, oh. and the throw down, and that is going to be not in time to get the speedy Pondo. He'll have the stolen base. Gets down under the tag of Stratton. The ball there about a half, half a heartbeat after Pondo touched the bag. So the stolen base has a man in scoring position, and it was ball one to Lujan at the plate. Nice work. He got a good jump at it, and now in scoring position. A little easier for Lovington maybe to bring him around and in. And the 1-0 pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up behind the plate. Getting rid of the mask is Johnson, and he adjusts, but the wind catches it at the last minute and blows it out of his hands and out of his reach. He dives for it, but not able to corral it. So Lujan will live to see another pitch at least. It's a one-ball, one-strike count. No, one and one the count. Runner at second is Pondo. The bloop single to get on to lead it off, then stole the base. Now he stands at second. Lovington trailing two to nothing. Would like to keep moving him around. Keep the line moving with two outs if you can. One ball, one strike to Lujan at the plate. Johnson down, flashing the signs. Now Sandoval's ready. Checks the runner and the 1-1 one, one pitch swung on, and that's a line oh, shot over the head of a leaping Marmaleo at third. Pondo rounds third. He is heading home, and the throw is going to be off down the line, and it is an RBI single for Fidencio Lujan. The RBI single to left will plate Pondo, and Lovington has scratched a run in. Lujan moves to second on the play at the plate. Now Unparedes to the plate. A really well hit ball, very nice. Pulled that around, line drive shot out into left. I thought the way that uh, Pondo was making a real wide turn around that third base and when that throw was coming in, I was hoping it was gonna be a little offline and it was. Mendez doing it a little offline. That'll be a chopper towards second. Thetford handles it deep in the hole and will fire to Guerrero at first in time, four to three. Four out number three, but the Wildcats put a run on the board. We've played two here in Lovington. It's Ruidoso two, Lovington one. We'll be back. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment. When it comes to your hard-earned money, selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, 
They have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the bottom of the second inning, Lovington put one run on with two hits, no errors, one left on base. We go to the top of the third. They're trailing two to one. And with the call, here is TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. It'll be Trenton Hall, Justin Mendez, and Logan Sandoval. Two, three, and four do up for the Warriors in their half of the third inning. You know, that uh, stolen base by Pondo, uh, okay, we, that was key because had he not stolen that base and uh, and gotten into scoring position, uh, Lujan would not have been able to to bat him in with that uh, with that RBI single. So, you know, a good job, good base running for, for Lovington, getting getting somebody on, getting them around, getting them, getting them in. They're chipping away, just, just, they, just trailing by one. As Hall will step in, Hall walked and scored, so he's officially 0 for 0, but he does have a run scored in this one. Ona still on the mound, and the first pitch curveball swung on, and that'll be hammered. Pondo handles it at third in the cutout. Long throw over and over the head. Lujan can't handle it. Gets away and skitters down the line and all the way out to the fence, and Hall will be in at second. It'll be an E. It's an error. Yep, E5. It's, it's an E5 because it was too high, so... So the error puts the leadoff man Hall on. And so that'll bring up Justin Mendez to the plate. Mendez 0 for 1. He flew out to left. Deep fly out out there back in the first inning. So he is 0 for 1. But Hall going to try and take advantage of the error to lead things off. He's in scoring position, getting a pretty good lead over there. Paredes keeping him close and honest. It checks him in the first pitch curveball and hits him. So Ding Dong is Mendez hit by the pitch. So an error and a hit batter. And now Ruidoso is thinking crooked numbers. Nobody out and runners at first and second. And now Logan Sandoval, who had the ringing RBI double in the first, will step in. Yeah. The pitcher would like to help his own cause here. Now Lovington uh, defensively going to have to really bear down. Try not to give up any runs here. Just work on the outs. Got to put the errors behind you. Osiah will set and fire, and that one's going to be low for ball one. Brought so, the heat, just like to raise it up just a few inches. So the one ball, no strike count. Cats trail by one, but Rodoso threatens here in the top of the third. And the 1-0 pitch curveball swung on, and that'll be a line shot finding its way through into left field. Coach Barrera going to wave Hall around. He rounds second. He is heading for home, and the ball not able to handle it. Gonzalez, the throw was there, but it kind of bounced. Gonzalez not able to get it, and so it'll be an RBI single for Sandoval that will plate Hall. Mendez will move to third, and on the play at the plate, Sandoval goes to second. So now 3-1. to one. As Ruidoso looking to keep the line moving, Omar Guerrero to the plate. Guerrero 0 for 1, grounded out to Pondo to end the first. But now they've got a chance to do some damage. They've already got one run across this inning. Lovington would like to keep it right there, but going to have to bear down here. Gonzalez set up on the outside. On a kicks and fires, swung on, and that'll be a slow roller. Pondo, up. Oh, they're going to say it went foul, so I guess it hit in the box and then... Maybe hit him. And then maybe hit him before it went foul, as they talk so. about it, and the two umps decide that it is foul, so strike one. And he is limping just a bit. Never feels good when you hit yourself oh, no. with one. And you can't be really mad at anybody because it came off of your bat. That's true. Oh, no ball, one strike count. On a checks on the runners, looks in. Now he'll deal the 0-1, breaking ball in the dirt. Evens the count at a ball and a strike. Nice job by Gonzalez to block that one, keep it in front of him. So that'll keep Mendez over at third. Sandoval stands at second. Gonzalez going to take a minute, come out and have a word with his battery mate while we've got a moment. Big thanks to all the great sponsors who make Wildcat baseball and all Wildcat sports possible. Lovington Sports YouTube, HobbsAmerica.com. See them there at the bottom of your screen. You're hearing their ads. Be sure you support those businesses that support your cats and lady cats. With Don Morgan alongside of TJ Miracle. So meeting at the mound is over. Got back in. It's a one ball, one strike count. 
Like only seven pitches thrown so far in this at bat. And the pitch. That one is going to be in there. Called strike two. Nice. Nice job there. They're going to end to Guerrero. So we'll put the ball behind the back. Look in. Get the signs from Gonzalez. As the one he wants now. Sets at the belt. And the one-two delivery, and that one is going to get away from Gonzalez. Is on the horse as Mendez. He's going to come in, and he will score easily. That one kind of got trapped up over in the little crook on the first base side. That's uh, two runs given up by uh, pass balls or wild pitches, either one. That yep, and I think, that, I think that was another pass ball, and so that will score Mendez. Sandoval moves down to third, and it evens up the count to Guerrero with 2-2. Two -two. So a two-run inning. They've got their crooked number. And Mendez, would, 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 he got on base through a hit by pitch and then made it around and in on a pass ball. So Lovington just giving the runs away here. Yes, they are. And the one-two delivery swung on, and that one is going to be in there. They'll throw down to Lujan, but it will score Sandoval. So Sandoval scores. It'll go into the books as a K for Guerrero. But because it was bobbled, it winds up scoring Sandoval, and that makes it 5-1. to one. There is one down now. Second K of the ball game for Ghana, but three runs come across. That's That one hurts, so now it'll be Stratton to the plate. He had the double to lead off the second. He's one for one. So four runners have come up for Ruidoso this inning. Three of them have scored. The other was an out. Now Stratton will step in. The shortstop will take the first pitch at the knees on the outside corner. Strike one. Ah, nice pitch. So the no ball, one strike count. Everybody back to their normal positions with the base pass cleared. Lovington would like to keep this right where it's at. On a deals the 0-1 curveball hammered, and that one is going out to the street. <laughs> and just barely missed a red pickup driving by. Strike one, or rather strike two. Sharply hit ball, but good chance for Lovington to score an out here. Strike out, possibly. I mean, there's one out, nobody on, kind of starting from scratch now. On the no ball, two strike count to Stratton, and the pitch swung on, and that oh. one is popped up, and that one's heading into the stands. Heads up, <laughs> and the count stays at 0-2. Well, now, see, I'm glad. I'm, see, I'm surprised he didn't take off his cap and try to catch it with his hat. Wouldn't have counted. That's okay. That was a, a an off-speed pitch. Ghana took a, took a lot off of that, and Stratton would, tried to be patient, and, and still timing was off on it, so count remains. Oh and two. So a no ball, two strike count. Ana looks in as the sign from Gonzalez. And the 0-2 pitch curveball hammered. And that one is going over towards the batting cages. And another off-speed pitch. And this time, Stratton was waiting for it. And he was way, way, way out in front. I mean, he was looking for that. Maybe hold it. Maybe don't throw that pitch again. <laughs> That's right. I think, I think come back with a heater, slider, something. I think, uh, I think, uh. Low and away, maybe. Yeah, you certainly got pitches to play with at an 0-2 count. You bet. One down and the 0-2 delivery swung on, and that one's popped up, and that one's going to come into the stands right in front of the press box. Stratton hanging tough at the plate. He's uh, protecting it, that's for sure. He's fought off a couple of pretty good pitches. Still gone away out in front, 0-2. A one, two, one down, but four, make that three runs across right. this inning for Ruidoso. Five to one your score here in top of the third inning. Gonzalez flashes the sign, and now Stratton going to ask for time. Gunn and Gonzalez trying to get on the same page, and Stratton says, yeah, why don't you run those again? And the big kick in the 0-2, and that one is going to be up and in, ball one. That one hung up in his hand a little bit and floated inside. So okay. now, he has a couple of balls to give. That was a pitcher's count, the 0-2 and 1-2 and and counts. So the one ball, two strike count. Gone is ready, and the 1-2 pitch fastball swung Ooh. on and missed. Ring him up, sit him down. 
Third K of the ball game for Ghana, and there are two gone for Rodoso here in this top of the third inning. Now Andres Marmalejo to the plate. Marmalejo grounded out to Ochoa at short. Back an inning ago. So he is 0 for 1. Two down now for the Wildcats and the number seven hitter for Rudoso at the dish in the first pitch, and that one is going to go low for ball one. Lost speed breaking pitch. Ball one. It was a 1-0 and count when Marmalejo swung his first time at bat. Pitched, uh, he hit that second pitch that he saw. Yes, it was. Grounded out. 1-0 pitch, and that one is going to be on the outside Ooh, corner. Nice. nice pitch. Yeah. Evens the count at a ball and a strike. I was hoping that right hand was going to come up because from here it certainly looked good. So the one ball, one strike count. Two down, but three across for Rudoso. Huffington would like to keep it right there. 1-1 one, one pitch swung on, and that'll be a chopper. Pondo handles it on the second bounce and then bobbles it, has to get it up, but not in time to get the speedy Marmalejo. And they will score that as an E5. So two errors for the Wildcats in the inning. Keeps it alive for Ruidoso. Two of the three runs that have come across have been earned. None of them that will come in, and hopefully none come in. None of them would be earned by Ghana after this, but right. Sai is striking out his last time up. And Ponto doing a nice job of, of playing the bounce and, and stopping that ball. He just, he just had a little trouble getting it out of the glove and then making that timely throw. So did uh, his job. Got it half, halfway right. Armalejo about a half step off of first. And the first pitch swung on, and that one will be hammered. Pondo handles it on the bounce, double clutches, and then airmails it. That one's over the head of Lujan as size rounds first. He's heading to second, rounding third, and heading home is Marmalejo. Good throw by Lujan to get that in, and Marmalejo has to retreat back to third. But three errors in the inning have kept things moving along here for the Warriors. Now it'll be Jensen Thetford to the plate. Thetford walked, and then... Got thrown out 6-4 to four on a fielder's choice with Johnson at the plate. And if Lovington's, they've got two outs. If they can just get this third out without giving up another run, uh, then all will be forgiven. They can get back in the dugout. Ghana fires. That one popped up oh. into shallow center. Could be trouble. And going over and on the run is Weiser and makes the grab in the hole in right center. And so Thetford pops it up. That was not an easy one to handle for the center fielder Weiser, but he does. Three runs come across for Rudoso. After two and a half, it's Rudoso five, Lovington one. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Field Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services, Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the top of the third inning, Rodosa scored three runs on only one hit. There were three errors committed, two left on base. We go to the bottom of the third. Lovington is trailing 5-1, to one, and with the call, here is TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. It'll be 9-1-2 and two due up for the Cats. Josiah Ghana. Josiah Ghana will start things off for the Wildcats. Ghana, Ochoa, and Hernandez. 
Cats now trailing by four, five to one the score, bottom of the third inning. Sandoval still on the bump for the Warriors. And he will deal to Ghana, and that one will be on the outside corner. Fastball, strike one. Of the six outs recorded by Rudo, so four of them have been punch outs in the 0-1 pitch swung on. That one is hit high in the air to deep center field. Going back is size, and it gets over his head and bounces off the blue monster. As Ghana rounds first, he is heading towards second. Size will toss it in. Stratton will cut it off, Ooh. but it's a leadoff double for Ghana. That one was almost a Ghana. <laughs> it was. Out to center field. A stand-up double for him puts him in scoring position, and Lovington has a great chance to uh, just keep things rolling here. Yep, now they're down by four, but a ringing double, and I think we will have a courtesy runner check in. Yes, we will. Running for Ghana. Let's see. I believe that's going to be... That's going to be Caden Mitchell, Mitchell, number 18. So, yep. I was trying to see if that was a five or an eight, but it's an eight, number 18, Caden Mitchell. He is listed first among the reserve players for Lovington. So Mitchell on to courtesy run for the pitcher, Ghana. And now it'll be Cam Ocho with a leadoff hitter to the plate. Cam 0 for 1, strikeout victim to lead off the game. Stratton from the stretch, going to check on Mitchell, now comes to the plate, fastball high, and it'll be ball 1. And Ochoa flinched but didn't offer. Wisely let that one go. Hill, the one ball, no strike count, size playing much deeper now out in center. Yeah. And the 1-0 pitch, fastball Ooh. swung on and missed as Ochoa trying to get a couple of those runs back with one mighty swing but comes up empty. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. Hernandez, the DH, waits in the on-deck circle. And Weezer in the hole. 1-1 pitch swung on, and that one oh. is hit high in the air to deep center field. Going back, back, and at the wall, size. And he will toss it in quickly as Mitchell over there went halfway and then froze. Right. And that one, size, didn't even have to move, so a long fly out to center. Or out number one. So now Matthew Hernandez, the DH to the plate. I think if he had just stayed tagged up and waited for that, he would have been able to go ahead and make it to third. I think you're right. But he's still in scoring position, so nothing still lost. Still less than two outs, so and you're still, all right. Lovington still two outs to, to play with here. First pitch to Hernandez, fastball, and that one is outside for ball one. The 1-0 count, Weezer waits on deck. Mitchell, courtesy running for Ghana at second. Stratton keeping an eye on him over there in the 1-0 pitch and chasing a high one. Hernandez knows that he probably should have held off on that when he was counted a ball and a strike. Can't afford to give strikes away, down by four. Stratton has the sign he wants from Johnson and the 1-1 pitch swung on. That one is going to be popped up over on the right side. Garetto goes back and has to adjust to the wind and reaches out. If his arms are an, even an inch shorter, he's not able to get that one because he had to reach out and stab at it. But Hernandez pops out to first in foul ground. And there's two down now as Weezer to the plate. Still got a, a runner out in scoring position on second, though. And Weezer's capable of hitting... a. Hitting well, hitting long balls. He just needs to figure out the timing against this pitcher. First pitch, and he will take that one back into the screen. He's got a little bit under that one and shot it backwards for strike one. Oh, the no ball, one strike count as Pondo goes over to retrieve the baseball. He'll get it back to the, the man in blue wearing black today. Oh, both the umps are wearing gray slacks and, and black shirts and, and black... Uh, caps. They're alternate uniforms from the normal the light blue. blue. Mm -hmm. oh, no ball, one strike count. Weezer at the plate. Runner at second is Mitchell. And the 0-1 pitch swung on in. That one's heading to the parking lot. Good cut. He just decided a little bit late to swing and caught it just a, just a bit late. But man, if he could uh, straighten that out, it was pretty solid contact. So a no ball, two strike count. Mitchell leads off a second. Stratton, or rather Sandoval, taking the long look in. And the 0-2 pitch swung on and missed as Weiser comes up and in and chases 
Strike number three, so the Cats get a leadoff double but can't move him around. We head to the fourth. It's Rodoso 5, Lovington 1. Wildcat baseball continues from the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the products you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com from Wildcat Field. In the bottom of the third inning, Lovington had no runs on one hit, no errors, one left on base. We go to the top of the fourth, and it's going to be Rodoso coming up to the plate. They lead 5-1 to one with the call. Here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. It'll be 1-2-3. and three. Johnson Hall and Mendez to the plate. Johnson 0 for 2. He is the leading hitter for Ruidoso, but so far Ghana has slowed him down, and he'll take the first pitch. It'll be a hopper as Ochoa gets it deep in the hole, fires over, and not going to be in time. It pulled Lujan off the bag. I think even if it's on time, I still don't think they get Johnson. He's quick. And so it will be the infield single for Johnson, and now that'll bring Trenton Hall to the plate. So Hall walked and scored in the first, reached via the error, and scored in the third. So now Johnson over at first. After the leadoff infield single, Hall steps in, pickoff attempt, is diving back in. That's actually Mason Ficaney, who's courtesy running for the catcher, Johnson. So Ficaney, the courtesy runner. It's about a step over there. Gone up from the stretch, swung on, and that one hit off the fist. It's high in the air. Could be trouble, and going back is Paredes and makes the grab just into the outfield between second and right, and so Hall pops it up. And there is one down now as Justin Mendez to the plate. Mendez flew out to left in the first, then was hit by a pitch and scored in the third, so he's officially 0 for 1 with a run scored. Caney the big lead off of first. Lujan holds him on. Donna kicks and fires. Swung on, and that one going to be fouled off for strike one. Looks like Ruidoso has decided they want to be a little more aggressive this inning. Because they've seen strikes, and they've taken pretty good hacks at them. Yeah, not letting uh, too many. I think the, the Johnson hit the first pitch he saw. What, Hall? Right, the first pitch he, he saw. saw. Yeah, and Mendez swung at the first one he right. saw and fouled it off. Donna checks the runner. Runner goes on the curve. Ball swung on, and that one has popped up. It is coming <laughs> just in front of the press box for strike two. The hit and run was on for Coach Barretta. Ficaney will have to try 90 feet back over to the bag at first. <laughs> And gone away out in front of Mendez here. Good opportunity. They've got one down. Try to get a, another quick out if they can. As Gonzalez down, flashing the signs. Gone up, pickoff attempt, and Ficaney slides back in. Pretty good pickoff throw there and a good sweep tag put on by Lujan. Gone sets up on the first base side of the rubber from the stretch. 0-2 pitch, and that one is going to be low and in. And it'll be a one ball, two strike count. One down, we are in the top of the fourth inning. Of 
Covington trailing 5-1. to one. And would love nothing more than just to keep it right where it's at. And the 1-2 pitch swung on, and that one is going to be popped up. Getting rid of the mask as Gonzalez goes down the third baseline, puts up the glove, plays the wind, and makes the grab for out number two. And now two down after the pop-up to the catcher, and now it'll be the pitcher, Logan Sandoval, who was two for two with two RBIs and a run scored to the plate. There's a reason why he's hitting cleanup. And he is hitting 550 on the season. He's their second batting, second in their batting race. Johnson at the leadoff single, hitting over 700 on the year. He's not oh. hitting that today, but no. 550 for Sandoval and another pickoff attempt for Caney back in safely at first. So Sandoval, the cleanup hitter. Slightly open stance on the right side box. Connor kicks and fires, and that one is going to be off the outside corner. And it'll be ball one. Omar Godetto waits on deck. Warriors trying to do something with two outs here. And the 1-0 pitch, that one is high. Snap throw down. Gonzalez to Lujan. But Ficaney back in safely at first. And it's a two-ball, no-strike count to Sandoval at the plate. At this point, you got to worry more about the batter than the runner. Yes, you do. Two balls, no strikes. Donna has the sign in the 2-0 pitch. That one is going to be away for ball three. The 3-0 count. Something tells me that Coach Barrera is not going to have the take sign on for Sandoval. Hmm. If there's... Right. Gana he's feeds him feeds him one that he can handle. Right. Of course Gana's gotta gotta hit the spot, bring the bring the strike when he has to here. Avoid a walk. He's given up just one walk in the game so Rio far. Rio pitch inside and the throw down oh. not gonna matter. And then the throw gets away, but getting to it is Weiser. So the walk and walking Sandoval is not the worst thing ever. It puts a force on third. True. And now Omar Garetto to the plate who is 0 for two. And basically, just took the bat out of the hands of one of, of their cleanup hitter and one of their best hitters. So, not the worst thing in the world to walk him. And four nope, straight two pitches. Outs. Yep, two outs, two on. Runners at first and second. And now Guerrero to the plate, 0 for 2, grounded out to third in the first, then struck out in the third. Donna checks the runners, breaking ball, and that mm. one is going to be in the oh, yeah. corner, mm -hmm. called strike one. I was uh, really hoping that that right arm was going to go up because it looked good to me. He flinched and turned around, but it didn't change the fact that, that that ball was on the inside corner. So the no ball, one strike count. And the pitch Ooh. in that one is going to be low for ball one. Yes, miss. So the one ball, one strike count. And looks in on Ficaney at second, then comes to the plate, and that one is away for ball two. No activity that I can see over in the Cats' bullpen, so. Gonna still doing all right. Pitch count-wise, I've got to think. I haven't been keeping up with it, but. 2-1 pitch for ball one. That one's hit on hands, and no, that one trouble. could be trouble. And it will drop. Kicks and fires. That one's away from ball one. Nice job of shutting that ball down, not letting it get past him. Because that could have been uh, the plate there, at least in the tent. A couple of runs score on past balls. Well, going to go out and just have a, a little word. Gonzalez thought he'd get in on that. I think it's just a pep talk telling Ghana, don't worry, just throw strikes and we'll, we'll, we've got your back. If they hit, they they do, but uh, don't worry about it. Two outs, force on any base, try to get the out. So far, Ruidoso has not put one across here in the fourth, but they are threatening, and all of this has come pretty much with two outs. 
So a one ball, no strike count to Stratton at the plate. Gonna deals the 1 0 pitch, swung on, and that one is going to be hammered out to deep left field, but shading over and back is Sanchez and makes the grab on the line out to left. So Rudoso threatens, but comes up empty in the fourth. We head to the bottom of the fourth. Rudoso 5, Lovington 1. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment from New Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. When it comes to your hard earned money, selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto Supply is your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcecnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. And welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sport 2 Tube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the top of the fourth inning, Rodoso threatens but comes up empty. They score no runs on two hits. There were no errors, three left on base, and Lovington comes up to the plate. They're trailing 5-1 to one with the call. Here's T.J. Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. It'll be the middle of the lineup, 4-5-6. and six. That's Pondo, Gonzalez, and Sanchez due up. Pondo with a single, a stolen base, and scored the only Wildcat run back in the second. So he is one for one. So let off the second. Now he leads off the fourth. Lovington trailing by four. Or rather, Sandoval going to shake off a couple. Now he has what he wants, and he'll deal to Mike in the first pitch. Fastball, letter high. Yes, sir, strike one. You know, that, uh, it was a good job. That's the first at-bat for Rodoso that Lovington has held them to, to scoring zero runs. Rodoso scored one in the first, one in the second, three in the third, and none in their fourth at-bat. One pitch is up and away, and evens the count at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. That's going to try and get something moving along here. Trailing by four in the middle stages of this one, the bottom of the fourth. 1-1 one, one pitch swung on. That'll be a hard shot, and shading over towards second is Stratton. He gets a glove on it, but can't handle it. He kind of olays it. Will it be a hit or an error? That's the question. I think because he had to go so, well, they'll call it an E6. So Pondo will reach via the error. was a well-hit ball, though, um, you know, really – Solid hit right up the middle. In fact, I thought that uh, that they might not be able to get to it and knock it down. And so that will bring up Ethan Gonzalez to the plate. Gonzalez 0 for 1, but Lovington gets the leadoff man on, so threatening here in the first. First pitch to Ethan is going to be high for ball one. Pondo, big lead over at first. Cadetto holds him on over there. Sanchez, or rather Gonzalez, back in and ready. Sandoval kicks and fires, and that one right down the pipe, and evens the count at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count outfield for Rodoso playing very deep. Infield moving to double play positions, with Ganetto holding on Pondo over at first. The pitch and the fastball swung on and missed. As Gonzalez goes after the outside fastball, it'll be strike two. Yeah, it is... Sandoval has good movement on that that uh, that slider. It just it clips the corner when, and it's almost too late to swing at it. When as a batter you realize, oh, that's that's going to hit. That's going to hit the corner. I need to try One, to hit two it. Pitch runner goes the throw down and in time. But Ooh. Pondo slides under the tag as it sailed on Johnson just a little bit. As Stratton has to leap up to get it, and so Pondo with his second stolen base of the ball game is in scoring position, and it's a 2-2 count at the plate to Gonzalez. The ball went high, Ponda went low, safe. 
So the two ball, two strike count. Stratton bends over at the waist, takes the long look in with Johnson. Now he straightens up, sets under the belt, and the 2-2 pitch is high for ball three. So that'll run the count full to Ethan Gonzalez. If I'm not mistaken, that's the first full count Lovington has worked against Sandoval this afternoon. Yes, it is. Comes at three-plus in the ball game, And the payoff pitch swung on, and Gonzalez gets a piece of it. Pops it back to the screen, so the count stays full. Good job to stay alive at the plate. With no outs and a runner in scoring position, rolled an opportunity for Lovington to get something rolling here and get some of those runs back. It's not, a, they only trail by four. Yes, they do, as timeout asked for and given to Gonzalez. Pondo at second had the reach via the error, leading it off, and stole second. Payoff pitch, Gonzalez hammers Ooh. that one and is going to be just foul. Ah. That one was hugging the line until it got right to the bag, and then it went foul. If it stays fair another foot and a half, it's a double with a run scored. If it's not, we'll just reset and do 3-2 again. Sharply hit ball. Yes, right. it was. Ethan was sitting back waiting on whatever that was. Just got around on it about a half a heartbeat too quick. So 3-2 the count. Once again, and we'll try again. The breaking ball is oh. in there. Called strike three, Gonzalez. Yeah. He was he was looking fastball he was. and nothing he could do with nope. the curve. Nope. As that was a good pitch, a well well you know it was a well executed and a good time to throw that. Unfortunately for Gonzalez, but six K of the ball game for Sandoval, and now it'll be Patrick Sanchez to the plate. Patrick 0 for one it was a strikeout victim back in the second, and the first pitch will be a fastball away for ball one. It's been interesting to see as the game has gone on how Sandoval has kind of changed his rhythms a little bit. In the 1-0 pitch, and that one will be hmm. outside and low for ball two. First three batters, he just came out and threw nothing but BBs in there. And since then, he's started mixing in a little more of the off speed. Right. And he slowed his delivery down a little bit. The 2-0 pitch, fastball swung on and missed. And will run the count, two balls, one strike. I mean, he just threw 11 pitches in the first inning. So a two-ball, one-strike count. And of the 11 pitches, nine of them were strikes. The 2-1 pitch swung on, hit off the fists, and foul. That one will go out of play on the right field line, and just behind the Ruidoso dugout. So evens the count at two and two to Sanchez. So the two ball, two strike count. One down, but Pondo stands at second. Sandoval looks in to Johnson, takes a long look in. Now he'll deal the two, two. Swung on and missed as he ran the high fastball by Sanchez. So he'll head back to the dugout as a strikeout victim for the second time. And now it'll be Fidencio Luan to the plate. And I, I've got a pitch count of 43 right now with that, with that pitch, that strikeout just then. At, uh, I've, I've got 43. I might have missed a foul ball here or there, but I know it's 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 right at 43 well, maybe. In the, in the mid-40s yeah, probably. Yeah, 43, 45 maybe in there. And now it'll put Luhan at the plate. Luhan one for one. He singled to right, or rather left, his last time up. And the first pitch, Pondo going, slides in, and... A good throw down by Johnson and the tag applied by Marmaleo, but not in time. Pondo with good speed has his third stolen base of the afternoon. And he now stands at third with two outs. I think it was ball one to Lujan at the plate. Sandoval back and the first next pitch is in there called strike one. Evens the count at a ball and a strike. So we need to... Uh... And Pondo... Yeah, Pondo. Running on down the line there, trying to distract Sandoval a little don't, bit. Don't want to waste his, his stolen bases, all his effort out there. Try to bring him out, bring him in, and get a two-out rally going on here. And Sandoval will pop off the rubber and force Pondo back over there. Marmaleo not really holding him all that close. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on and missed as Fidencio comes right over the top of that late breaker for strike two. And Fidencio... He had a 1-1 one, one count on when he hit that line drive single, blistered it out into left field his first time up. 
And the one-two pitch, and that one is going to be a fastball running inside. Is Pondo basically daring Johnson to try and throw it down to third? We've seen Johnson's arm is good enough. If you give him enough room, I'm not sure I'd tempt fate like that. And it's a 2-2 count to Lujan at the plate. Lujan, neutral stance, back of the box in the 2-2 pitch. Curveball swung on. That's a hammer shot and off the bounce. Thetford will get it and fire to first in time. 4-3 for out number three. So the Cats do a little threatening of their own in the fourth, but come up empty as we head to the fifth inning. It's Rodoso 5, Lovington 1. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment from No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcecnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account can be and securely the smart hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Field Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services. Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the bottom of the fourth, Lovington put no runs on with no hits, one error committed, one left on base. So we go to the top of the fifth inning, Rodoso coming up to the plate. They lead 5-1 to one with the call. Here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don. It'll be 7-8-9 up for the Warriors here in the fifth inning. That'll be Marmaleo, size and Thetford. Marmaleo is 0-2, grounded out in the second, then reached via the air and was left stranded in the third. So Marmaleo, the third baseman, will step to the plate. Ghana still on the hill for the Wildcats. Going to try and keep this right where it's at. A four-run deficit, 5-1 in favor of Rudoso. Marmaleo, all the Rudoso batters are righties. Marmaleo with the open stance. Ghana gets the sign from Gonzalez and comes to the plate. First pitch, and that one bounces off the dish. Ball one. Goes all the way back between home plate and the Lovington dugout. Gonzalez has to go chase it down. Of course, we'll be back with you here next week with Roswell High coming to town. Yep, that'll be next Thursday, actually. Yes, it one, will, a week one from today. Week today, April 4th. Has the 1 0 pitch, and that one inside, ball two. Whoa, Gonzalez, frame that up just a little bit. Thought the ump might take a, take a look and think that it was on the corner, but didn't buy it. Didn't go for it, didn't buy it. Curved, but not quite not enough. enough. And the 2-0 pitch fastball, and that one is going to be away for ball three. So the three ball, no strike count to the number seven hitter, Marmalejo, who leads it off here in this top of the fifth inning. Marmalejo waggles the bat, and Ghana delivers. That one will be inside ball four. So Marmalejo works the leadoff walk on four pitches, and he'll trot down to first. And that will bring Josiah Size to the plate. Size struck out in the second, then reached via an error in the third and was left stranded. Now he will step in 0 for 2. But he's got a runner at first with Marmalejo. As Lujan will hold him on over there. Gonna goes into the stretch in the first pitch. Off speed and at the knees inside corner, strike one. Oh, no ball, one strike count. Not much of a lead for Marmaleo over at first. You know, he lengthens it out a little bit. And the 0-1 pitch swung on, and that'll be a chopper off of the hop. Pondo to it, double clutches and fires to Luan, who has to stretch out to grab it, but does. So Saez will be out 5-3 to three for out number one. It will move Marmaleo down to second. And it'll bring the number nine hitter, Jensen Thetford, to the plate. But good to see Pondo, uh, you know, make the stop make that sure throw in time and, uh, and even though 
it put Lujan kind of in the stretch to try to get it still. A good enough throw to get it out and in time. So nice that things settled down there in that little corner of the field. So, soft hopper there. There's yeah. no, no chance at a double play. Nope. Took too long to, to, to get develop, there to yeah. him to develop, yeah. So Thetford is 0 for 1, and the first one is going to bounce off the plate, and so a free base for Marmalejo. So move over on the wild pitch, and it's ball one to Thetford. Thetford walked in the second and then popped out in the third. So it's a 1-0 count to him, and Marmalejo to third on the wild pitch. So Ghana. The wild pitch not really helping his own cause there. Then he'll settle back in and deal the 1-0, and that one will be away for ball two. No two ball, no strike count. Top of the Warrior lineup waits on deck with Gabriel Johnson. And the 2-0 pitch, and that one mm. floats in there. Nice. Yes, yeah. it did. Strike one. So the two ball, one strike count. To the number nine hitter, second baseman, Jensen Thetford, and he'll hammer that one. Lujan backhands it, thinks about coming home, and then he'll sail one home. He gets the out. The ground out gets Thetford, but Thetford will have the ground out RBI as Marmalejo will score. There's two down now, but it is a 6-1 to one Ruidoso lead with the top of their lineup back to the plate. That'll be Gabriel Johnson. Johnson is one for three, popped out in the first. Fielder's choice in the second, and then had a single and was left stranded in the fourth. So we'll step in with two outs, nobody on. Lovington trailing by five. Johnson awaits the first pitch from Ghana, and the curveball is up and in, ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. Pretty good crowd filing in as we get past five o'clock this Thursday. I know most people, a lot of people, no school or no work tomorrow because a good Friday. That one will be low for ball two. We'll be working tomorrow for good Friday. Right. Tune into the Kicks Morning Show. Shameless plug. <laughs> it's a beautiful we'll afternoon for baseball, really. 2-0 pitch, and that one's going to be Ooh, inside ball little, three. Just a, It's a little breezy and a little coolness to the breeze, but all in all for a late March afternoon, I mean, uh, you know, you, you have to play in all kinds of weather. March from one day to another, you never know what you're going to be practicing or playing in when you were in baseball and softball. A Tuesday night felt yeah. like I was freezing to death <laughs> over at the softball field. Right, and, and, and now it's it's fairly warm, nice, a little breezy, that's it, but, uh, but really not not a bad afternoon for baseball. No, it is not. So the meeting at the mound between Ghana and Gonzalez is broken up. It's a 3-0 count. Two outs. All Lovington has to do is try to get this third out and uh, seal off the damage in this one. Just just keep it at one run for Rodoso here. And the 3-0 pitch. Fastball swung on, and that one will be popped out of play. As Johnson with the green light on 3-0, if he got something he thought he could handle, and he thought he could handle it, that one heads into the parkland behind Ruidoso's dugout. And that's a 3-1 count. And Johnson settling back in. Gonzalez flashes the sign, sets up over the heart of the plate, and 3-1 pitch fastball, and that one is low and away, ball four. So Johnson will work the two-out walk, and that'll bring Trenton Hall to the plate. Hall walked and scored in the first, reached via an error and scored in the third, then popped out in the fourth. So officially he is one for two with two runs scored. He's got a lot of speed if he reaches, gets on base. and uh... Bikini into courtesy run once again for the catcher, Johnson. You want to try to keep him from getting on base. So Hall steps in, Fakini leads off first, Lujan holds him on. Pickoff attempt as Fakini back in easily. Didn't have a big lead there, just a little toss over to keep him honest, let him know that he is noticed. Lujan will hold on Fakini, and the first pitch will be high to Hall, ball one. It's a one ball, no strike count, outfield still deep with the wind blowing out. Rodriguez is still about halfway back. He's not nearly as deep as Huizur Sanchez. 
1-0 pitch, and that one will be off speed and at the knees outside corner and evens the count at a ball and a strike. A little bit of a delayed call there from the man in black. You know what? I was uh, agreeing with that call, though, for sure. 1-1 one, one pitch swung on, and that'll oh. be a hard shot, and it'll get through. Ochoa was charging over towards second as rounding second and heading to third. Ficaney will slide in, but it'll be a two-out single to center for Trenton Hall, and now there are Warriors on the corners. And that's just bad luck for Ochoa. He was moving over on contact, and the ball just went right behind him. Just a little bit of a misread there. Because the runner had started off going, too. And here comes Coach Cruz, and that may do it for Ghana. With two down here in this top of the fifth inning. And just keep it right here till we know for sure what's going to happen. Say a big thanks to all the great sponsors who make Wildcat baseball. Wildcat Athletics and Lady Cat Athletics possible. Lovington School, Stone Oil Field Services, Lee County Electric Cooperative, First American Bank of Lovington, Lovington Auto Supply, Napa, Devon Energy, Eunice Pump and Supply, Bob's Thriftway, and Western States Insurance. So what do you think? You uh, fake a throw to second and hit uh, your second baseman instead and try to catch your uh, Johnson over off of third base and try to get him in a rundown? What do you think? I think squeeze well, play or what? I, I think they're going to just pitch to Mendez and see what happens. <laughs> All right. Looks like there may be a little work going on in the Wildcat bullpen. So Ficaney leads off a third. First pitch swung on, and that one is hit high in the air to deep left field. Going back is Sanchez, and at the wall makes the grab as Mendez gets all of it, but not quite all of it. It's a long fly out to left for out number three. So Ruidoso puts two on, but can't move them around. They do get a run, though, in that top of the fifth. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Ruidoso six, Lovington one. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment. Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety. Caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Field Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services... Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. And welcome back to Wildcat Baseball from Wildcat Field on Lovington Sports 2 and HobbsAmerica.com. And in the top of the fifth inning, there was one run on one hit, no errors, two left on base. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Lovington is trailing 6-1, to one, coming up to the bat. And with the call, here is TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morton. It'll be Auden Paredes leading off and then Josiah Ghana. And Cam Ochoa, 8-9-1, and one, due up for the Cats. Paredes 0-for-1, grounded out to Thetford. Back in the second, and the first pitch will be a fastball high from Sandoval. And it's a 1-0 count. We're into the bottom of the fifth inning. So 8-9-1 and one for the Wildcats, trying to chip away at a five-run deficit. Fastball outside. And it'll be ball number two. Sandoval trying to speed his rhythm back up a little bit here, looks like. 2-0 pitch, that fastball right down the pipe. It was two ball, one strike count. Paredes may not see a better pitch than that all month, which, I mean, the month's almost over. So, 2-1 <laughs> pitch, swung on, and that one's heading to the parking lot. I bet it hits my white Toyota because I said that, and so it'll be 2-2. Two and two. I've got to learn. <laughs> so, the two ball, two strike count, two Paredes at the plate. 
leading off for the Cats here in this bottom of the fifth inning. 2-2 pitch swung on, and that one is hit off the fist, and Thetford will get it on about the fourth or fifth bounce, then get it over to Guerrero, who stretches out, pops off the bag momentarily, but reaches back out with the left foot and taps the bag, and so Paredes out for the second time in the ballgame, 4-3. to three. There's one down, and now Osaya Gana to the plate. Gana with a ringing double to center his first time up. He's one for one. And there is work going on out in the Lovington pen. We'll see if I can catch who's warming up out there. So the first pitch to Gano will be strike one. It'll be Ethan Gonzalez warming up, I have been informed. And the 0-1 pitch, and that one is going to be in there called strike two. I have a feeling we will see a pitching change as Ghana gets a piece of that one to stay alive. And with a no ball, two strike count. Ghana, the pitcher of record for the Wildcats. Not all of those six runs are earned because of the errors. Gets to take a couple off of his tally. And the 0 2 pitch, and that one will be high for ball one as Sandoval trying to get Josiah to chase. Ethan Gonzalez, the catcher for Lovington. Man, it's tough to come out, uh, you know, from behind the plate. And the 1-2 swung on and missed as Ghana chases a high heater and goes down swinging. That'll be the eighth K of the ball game for Sandoval, and it'll turn it over to Cowan Ochoa and the top of the Wildcat lineup. Ochoa 0 for 2. When Go for two and do, as you like to say. Right. When you've caught four and a half games of a, of a baseball game and you come up out of the crouch to go serve on the mound, you got some tired legs under you usually. First pitch is away from Johnson, but nobody on. No harm, no foul. Ball one. So Gonzalez should come into pitch in the sixth. Lovington trying to hold it at just a five-run deficit. And the 1-0 pitch, Sandoval sails that one. And it'll be ball two. We learned with the girls on Tuesday night, hey, as long as you've still got an out to work with, oh, yeah. anything can happen. And the 2-0 pitch, and Ooh. he shows bunt and Beautiful lays it one. down, oh. and it dies, and a throw nice. down, and not in time is Cam Ochoa. Wow. With the bunt single, <laughs> a two-out bunt single with an 0-2 count. Dangerous bunt, but it works. And so the infield bunt single, and now it'll be Matthew Hernandez, the DH, to the plate. That was a pretty bunt. He laid yes, that down. Yes, it was. That was textbook. Didn't, yeah, it didn't uh, didn't move very much and took a little time for everybody to get to it, catcher to come out of the crouch, and, and uh, pitcher and third baseman. So, wow, nice. Sometimes nice. if you want to get something going, do That's something right. unexpected. It's true. And uh, the, that'll chopper. be a chopper, and it'll be uh, handled by Stratton, who just takes the short route uh, to get Ochoa by himself. Over on the bag at second, and so Lovington puts a man on but can't move him around. We head to the sixth. It's Ruidoso six, Lovington one. Wildcat baseball continues in just a moment. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the product you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered, Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, 
Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the bottom of the fifth inning, there were no runs on one hit, no errors, one left on base. And we go to the top of the sixth inning. Your score is still 6-1. to one. Lovington's trailing. Rudosa coming up to the plate. And with the call, here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. As Ethan Gonzalez will take over on the hill, Cole McKillop will go behind the plate. Final line on... Gone a five innings pitch. He gives up six runs on six hits. Four of those runs were earned. He strikes out three and walks one. So it'll be four, five, and six due up. So the middle part of the lineup for Gonzalez to face. As Sandoval steps in, he is two for two. But he's reached all three times he's been up. So Gonzalez, it'll be the first batter he faces. Lovington trailing by five. As timeout asked for. <coughs> And granted, so Ethan usually a pretty quick worker in the first pitch to Gonzalez, and that one will be on the ah. inside corner called strike one. Kind of crossed McKillop up a little bit. He was setting up more outside, but it came over the plate. He'll take it, strike one. So an O-ball, one strike count. Gonzalez has what he wants, and the 0-1 pitch, curveball swung on, and that one heads to the stands. And so Gonzalez in relief. Up, no balls, two strikes on the cleanup hitter for Ruidoso. Of course, Gonzalez got the start as the catcher in this one. And I believe... 0-2 uh, pitch swung on, and that'll be a shot right back up the middle. A hard grounder finds its way through into center. And so Sandoval is on for the fourth time this afternoon with another single. A double, two singles, and a walk. So the leadoff single for Sandoval. Now Omar Guerrero to the plate. Guerrero singled back in the fourth and was left stranded. He is one for three. Now Sandoval leads off of first. But NCO holds him on over there. The pitch and the runner goes. And that one sails away from McKillop a little bit. Does a nice job keeping it in the glove as Sandoval dives into second. with All a 1-0 one. count. Guerrero back in the neutral stance. From nope. the stretch, Gonzalez and deals, and that one going to be in the dirt. That one gets away from McKillop. Skidder is up the first baseline, and on the pass ball, it'll let Sandoval get over to third. It looks like Coach Barrera going to try and push the envelope a little bit here. It's a two-ball, no-strike count to Guerrero. And now Gonzalez back to the regular wind and the 2-0 pitch fastball, and that one is away for ball three. Runner goes as Whoa. they got him just a little bit sleepy, and so a steal of home. home. You don't see that very often. No, you do not. Makes it 7-1. to one. Matter of fact, I've been calling <laughs> high school and, and junior college games. I'm trying to think this is my 28th season. I'm thinking that's the first time I've ever seen somebody steal home. Really? In in baseball, a lot less uh, common. I've seen it in softball several times. but. And the 3-0 pitch swung on and missed as Guerrero had the green light on 3-0 and comes up empty. So Sandoval with the single and then three stolen bases. Well, two stolen bases and got to third on a pass ball. But no. And now the 3-1 pitch to Guerrero swung on and missed. That'll be strike two. Like I said, in 28 years, I, you'd think I would have seen it at least once, and maybe I have. I've seen the squeeze, the suicide squeeze, the sure, safety squeeze. But not just the outright steal. Not just the outright steal of home. There's actually a Payoff pitch from Gonzalez, and that's a hard Whoa. shot past the diving Pondo right up the line at third. That one is going to go out as Sanchez gets to it as Guerrero rounds second. He is heading to third as Sanchez has a little trouble getting that one up, and he will slide in with a triple down the line. Wow. <laughs> right down the line, the triple. It just blistered that one. Yes, he did. And then Sanchez had just a touch of trouble getting it picked up. but <laughs> And still, yikes. no outs. And now a runner at third after the triple is Carson Stratton to the plate. Stratton, the hard line out to right his last time up. 
He's one for three. And the first pitch to Stratton from Gonzalez is outside for ball one. There's actually a movie uh, that's quite a, it's probably about 20 years old, maybe more, that's called Stealing Home with Mark Harmon and Jody Foster. And uh, I've seen that a couple of times in my life, but Stealing Home. And the 1-0 pitch, and that one is going to bounce off the plate, gets away from McKillop, but he keeps it in front of him, takes it up the third baseline, and that will keep Cadetto over a third. It's ball two to Stratton. Of course, the most famous steal of home all time, Jackie Robinson in the World <laughs> Series. Yeah, that's, yeah, you're pulling out a, a good one, a golden oldie there. It's baseball season. I've got to, <laughs> I've, I've got to start rebuilding the file there. We refer, go back to our movies and our history. And all 2 0 that. pitch, and that one is going to be outside for ball three to Stratton. Nobody out. A run already across for Ruidoso on a steal of home. And now Stratton at the plate. And the pitch, and that one is going to be at the knees, strike one. Gadetto stands at third after the triple, right down the left field line. No outs here. Lovington in a bit of a trouble. They need to just try to work some outs, get out of this as quickly as they can. And the 3-1 pitch, and that one is going to be on the outside corner called strike two. I think it would have been ball four if Stratton <laughs> had not decided to start taking off. Right. Umpires don't like that. They don't like you to call. Call, call your own balls exactly. and strikes. It's true, and, and assume especially on that uh, on a close pitch on close a pitch and, and the payoff pitch swung on and that'll be a bouncer foul then we'll reset and do three balls and two strikes again of course Rudoso wants to put some more crooked numbers up on the board if they can they have scored every inning in this ball game save the fourth where they left the bases loaded. I'm sure what they have their eye on is trying to get to 11 to 1. And uh, if Lovington wasn't able to trim it. Payoff that pitch swung on, and that one is popped up high in the air. The wind carries it over. Sanchez will come in. Nice. And tagging up is Guerrero, and he will make it home. So it'll be the sack fly for Stratton. So the sack fly out to left. But it's an RBI. Yeah, it's an RBI, and another run scores for the Warriors. One down. And now Andres Marmalejo to the plate. 0 for 2, grounded out in the second, reached via an error in the third and was left stranded, and then walked and scored in the fifth. So base is clear now, and the pitch will be high and away for ball one to Marmalejo. So base is clear as... Coach Barrera turns on the aggressive running, gets a couple in. And the 1-0 pitch, curveball swung on, and that one's back into the netting. Evens the count at 1-1 one one to Marmaleo. Gonzalez on in relief. So one out, something that Lovington can work with here. One out, nobody on now, so the pressure's off just a little. They just need to work on the outs one at a time. McKillop outside, and Gonzalez with the 1-1 pitch, and that one will go outside, ball two. Try not to let Rodoso get any more runs here, and try not to get them, let them get to that 10-run ahead point. You would like that with a 7-1 to deficit. Exactly. Of course, we are in the sixth inning, and the 2-1 pitch, and that one will be... Ooh, yeah. On the knees, I was waiting to see if he was going to call it, and he does, strike two. Gonzalez took a little bit off of that one. So it's a two-ball, two-strike count. Gonzalez battling, and he'll deal the 2-2, and that one will be high and away. Kilp tries to frame it up, but the ump doesn't buy it, so it'll run the count full to back-to-back -back hitters. Actually, this is three straight hitters who've seen the full count. Gonzalez takes the look in. He's ready to go now, and the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. Ring him up and sit him down. Fourth K of the ball game for the Wildcats. It's the first strikeout, the first though. first for Gonzalez. For Gonzalez. As um, Ghana had three strikeouts and a walk and a hit by pitch, a hit batter. And oh, they, they are saying. So they're I'm saying. I'm not sure that. It's to. Huh. So they've called a third out. I'm not sure. 
I don't know where it was. Yeah. It, there was the sack RBI and the strikeout. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that was and, out. Yeah, that was, that out was just one. out. There should, that there's was only just two, two outs. outs. Wow. Yeah, that's just two outs. I guess maybe. Something, wow. Did they. I, they must, I don't know if, if they, they called an interference if, or if, something. but if, if they called somebody out, it would have it would have affected the score. What? We need to take a run off. So that ah, I think what they're saying ah what they're saying I I think I I think I know now is if I've got this correct I think what they're going to say is that Guerrero did not tag up properly ah. and then came in so that okay. has to be what it is so okay. it'll wind up only being one, one run. run so we'll take that back to 7 to 1 we'll and take so then Guerrero will be out, out number 3 out by by not by not properly, properly tagging, tagging up. up at second or third? At third? At, at third, yeah. At third, right, for that long fly ball. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then. So 7-1 to one is the score now as uh, an improper. Hey, it happened to us so many times last year. I guess it's karma that we get one of them back. So it's a 7-1 to one ball game as the Wildcats head to the bottom of the sixth inning. So for Ruidoso, they get one run on two hits. No errors, and they leave nobody on base. So through five and a half, Rudoso seven runs on eight hits. They've committed one error, and they've left nine on the base paths. So leading off for the Wildcats, it'll be Ryan Weiser, then Mike Apondo, and Ethan Gonzalez. Heart of the order, three, four, and five, due up for Lovington. Ryan Trailing now seven to one. So one run on two hits, no errors, and nobody left on. That is correct. All right. Okay, and now 7-1 to one your score. We like that a lot better. A lot better than 8 to You bet. better than 8 to 1. And finally, a call on the base pass that goes, goes our way. way. I've been waiting five that? years for that. <laughs> First pitch to Ryan is outside for ball one. Well, one ball, no strike count. Sandoval kicks, fires, fastball, low, ball two. So it's a two-ball, no-strike count. And the 2-0 pitch swung on, and that'll be a chopper. Charging over is Thetford. Gets past him, though, in the hole and deep into second. Size will have to come up with it, and it'll be a leadoff single, bouncing single to center for Weiser. So the Cats are going to try and start the line moving as Mike Apondo to the plate. Pondo one for two, singled and scored in the second, reached via an error, and was left stranded in the fourth. That'll be Micah stepping in with Weiser at first. Good speed out on the base pass for the Cats. As Micah will step in. Ryan with a pretty good lead on first. He will go at first movement. The pitch out, the throw down, not going to be in time, and it gets away from the shortstop, Stratton, and Weiser wasn't ready for it. He got up and was looking around, and he had plenty of time to get to third, but he'll get the stolen base, and Ruidoso dodges a, an error bullet. Yeah, because it came out of the uh, shortstop, got the got the ball, but as he was going to put the sweep tag on, it went out the end of his glove, out into the field. Pondo, second pitch to him, is up high for ball two. So a two ball, no strike count to Micah. Runner at second is Weiser. Lovington trying to mount the comeback, trailing by six. A two ball, no strike count, and the pitch swung on, and that one is popped up. Get out of play, get out of play, and Guerrero misjudges it in the sun a little bit. So it winds up just being strike one, but that was a dangerous pop-up. Of course, with the sun starting to set, the right side of the infield is going to have some problems out there. And with the wind still still gusting and blowing, it uh, makes it it's a double whammy out there in some places with their sun in your eyes and the wind playing with that ball. So the two-ball, one-strike count. Sandoval checks on Weiser, then deals to the plate. The fastball is just off the outside corner, and that'll be ball three. Things looking up here for Lovington. No outs, a runner in scoring position. And a three ball, one strike count to the cleanup hitter, Pondo, at the plate. 3-1 pitch swung on, and that one's into the parking lot. 
cut just a little bit under that and a little bit late, but uh, a good swing at it. So the three ball, two strike count, nobody out. We sir after the single up the middle stands at second after he steals the base. 3-2 to Pondo at the plate. Sandoval takes the long look into Johnson. Checks on Ryan at second. And now the payoff pitch curve ball swung on, and that one will be hit high in the air to shallow center field. Charging over is going to be size, and he'll make the grab, and then he'll come up throwing as Weiser tags up and slides in safe to third. So it'll be a sack fly for Pondo. And that'll bring Ethan Gonzalez to the plate. Gonzalez 0 for 2, but now with a chance to help his own cause as he's taken over on the mound. Cats trail by six, one down here in the bottom of the sixth inning as Gonzalez will step back in. So the slightly open stance. Sandoval still on the hill for the Warriors. And the first pitch will be a fastball low. And it'll be ball one to Gonzalez, the number five hitter for the Cats. Next up for the Cats, they'll take a little... Easter breather than one week from tonight back here against Rodo. So fastball high. Mm, Gonzalez, two. Gonzalez flinched. He thought about it. Didn't offer though. So a two ball no strike count. 2-0 pitch fastball. That one is away for ball three. So Sandoval starting to lose a little bit of control here. They don't have anybody warming up in the bullpen. Starting there in the uh bottom of the fourth inning he started running into higher pitch uh, running into 3 full counts pitch and, and that one's at the letters strike one two and two counts three and two counts you know started getting into take sign on pitch. from Gonzalez and that 3-1 pitch is going to be on the outside corner called Ooh. strike two Lovington faithful thinking that might have been a ball Patrick Sanchez waits on deck and the payoff pitch that one is up and away ball four so that'll put Cats at the corners. That's the first walk issued five, by Patrick Sandoval. Sanchez. Yes, it is. So that'll bring Patrick Sanchez to the plate, 0 for 2. As here comes Coach Barrera. That may do it for Sandoval. We'll see. He gives up the walk. We'll have a courtesy runner check in for Gonzalez. Let's see who's going to trot on out there that for is him. Number, it's going to be eight, Xavier, Xavier Ruiz. Xavier Ruiz, yep. Mm -hmm. So we're Ruiz on to courtesy run for Gonzalez. Make myself a note there. As Coach Bar Barrera is, looks like he's going to let Sandoval keep the ball, but he's letting his guys know exactly what he wants. I guess there's a few words we probably couldn't repeat thrown in there somewhere. <laughs> I've been in those meetings at the mound before. Never as the pitcher, thank goodness. So runners at the corners here. One out. And Lovington threatening to put a couple three on the board. Do what they can to crawl back into this one and get it to the bottom of the seventh with a chance to take the win as Sanchez the first pitch to him is up high for Sandoval ball one I think if coach Barrera meant to settle things down out there I'm not sure it worked on that first pitch Barrera not Becerra and the 1-0 pitch swung on and that one is popped up that one's coming towards us and whoa the wind catches it and keeps it in the field of play and Johnson not able to handle it as the wind just kind of blew that one back. I thought that was coming into the window here. but it, uh, he, Yeah, the wind definitely caught that. And he threw off his mask and uh, was fighting the sun. Did a, made a nice nice uh, shot at that one. Now credit where credit's due. Good hustle and a good try. But we're happy that he, he was not able to get that ball. But, boy, you feel for the catchers when, uh, when it's a high pop like that. Cats at the corners. Runner from first goes. The throw down to second is going to be in plenty of time as Ruiz is burned down, but it'll let Weiser score. So Weiser will score. Ruiz is out two to six for out number two. So two down and the base is cleared. So Rodosa decided they would trade an out for a run since they are ahead seven to one, now seven to two. And it's a two one count to Sanchez at the plate in the pitch and that one's going to be on the outside corner just missing ball three. So the three ball, one strike count. 
And the pitch away, ball four. And so back-to-back -back walks issued by Sandoval. And so Lovington still in business. So that'll bring up Valencio Lujan, the lefty first baseman for the Wildcats. So Sanchez out on first. And Sandoval kind of losing his control a little bit. I'm going to make him pitch to me. I'm not going to swing at it unless it's exactly what I want. Make him hit the strike zone. First pitch to Fidencio. That one was, and he bangs it off the one of the support poles for strike one. Took two outs, two on, or one just on, one rather. On, yeah. Just one on. A runner on first. After Lovington put a run across. Shaved that lead down to just five runs now here. They've got to still got a shot at it. Bottom of the sixth. A one pitch swung on, and Lujan gets a piece of that one and shoots it back to the net again. So he's down in the count, no balls, two strikes. Lujan singled in the first and grounded out in the fourth. Sanchez at first leads off as Guerrero holds him on. And a little check on him. And the 0-2 pitch swung on, and that one will be a Ooh. high shot. Into right center field going over is size. Almost misjudged it. Had to leap up to get it, but Lujan will give it a ride. But come up short. The Cats put another run on the board, though. We head to the seventh and final inning. It's Rodoso 7, Lovington 2. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment. Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Attention shoppers, Bob's Thriftway welcomes you to Lovington, New Mexico. This week you'll save big on grocery items throughout their store. Save big on produce, household items, bread products, and meats. Every week, Bob's Thriftway has big savings for their customers. Bob's Thriftway is your local hometown grocery store. So for the freshest produce, the best meats, shop Bob's Thriftway, 906 West Avenue D in Lovington. Western States Insurance. Why choose Western States Insurance as your independent insurance agent? Because Western States Insurance is more than an insurance agency. They're a people agency dedicated to the insurance needs of their customers. Western States Insurance is large enough to provide the products you demand and small enough to offer you personal service. We've got you covered. Western States Insurance. Call 396-1318 or go by 212 North Love in Lovington. And welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Lovington put one run across on one hit. There were no errors, one left on base. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Rodoso coming up to the plate. They're leading 7-2. to two. And with the call, here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. It'll be size Thetford and Johnson, 8-9-1. and one. Coming up for Rodoso in their half of the seventh. Going to be key for the Cats here in Gonzalez in relief to keep this at just a five-run game. And up for Lovington in their half of the seventh, it'll be eight, nine, and one. So Lovington will have a chance to turn the lineup over one more time, and they need to get something going as Coach Barrera taking a long time with one of the umpires, the umpire that called the no tag up on what would have been a run that took a run off the board back in the sixth inning. I think he was just uh, letting letting the ump know of his uh, displeasure at the call. And now he's heading back over to the third base box as Size will step in. Size 0 for 3, struck out in the second, reached on an air and was left stranded in the third, then grounded out in the fifth. So it is 8, 9, and 1, do it for Ruidoso, and the first pitch is off the outside corner, ball one to Size. Don Morgan, I'm TJ Miracle. Great to have you with us as we click towards 6 o'clock on this Thursday evening. Just right at two hours of game time now. As McKillop sets up outside, Gonzalez deals, and that one is away. Ball two. Well, the two ball, no strike count. Infield pretty much playing their normal positions. Outfield about two-thirds of the way back. Sanchez a little deeper out and left, the way the wind's blowing. And the 2-0 pitch from Gonzalez swung on and missed. Good pitch up there. 
Size goes over the top of it. Strike one. Throwback gets away from Gonzalez. But Edis has to come over and corral it back up. Nobody on, no harm, no foul. No two ball, one strike count. Eyes chokes up and the 2-1 pitch is a fastball away. And that'll be ball three. Your Gonzalez, just those strikes. Trust your defenders. Three errors for Lovington, but a couple of them hadn't cost him. The 3-1 pitch swung on, lifted high in the air to left field, going back, 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 and watching that one off the wall is Sanchez. His size heads to second. He's got a stand-up double off of the wall in left center to lead it off for the Warriors in their half of the seventh. He just sat back on that one in the way. I didn't think that one was going to get nearly as deep. It got up in that jet stream there and just kind of kept carrying and carrying and carrying. I thought it was, uh, it was going to be over, actually, the way it was going. And now it'll be Thetford. He is 0 for 3. Yeah, he's, he's 0 for 2. He walked back in the second and popped out and then had a ground out but an RBI ground out in the fifth. And I'm glad it was not over. It's good to have just a double in that if you'd rather... Better, rather have the double than uh, than Homer. Yes, you would. Well, no ball, one strike count to Thetford at the plate. Gonzalez from the stretch looks in. McKillop flashing the signs. Sets up outside. Ethan checks the runner, comes to the plate, and that one's going to be in the dirt. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. So the one ball, one strike count. Sides with the leadoff double stands at second. Paredes over there keeping him honest. Killip sets up well outside, and the 1-1 pitch swung on and fouled back to the screen. Then a one-ball, two-strike count. Is Mondo going to come over, retrieve the baseball, and return it out to Ethan on the mound? The one-ball, two-strike count. Rudoso would like to tag an insurance run or two on if they could here in this top of the seventh inning. I'm observing my own seventh inning stretch here. I understand completely. I will probably do that in a moment. Standing up for just a minute when I can. And the one-two pitch curveball swung on and missed. Ring him up, sit him down. Good pitch from Gonzalez. His second K of the ball game. Fifth for Lovington pitching. And so there's one down, and that'll turn it over to Gabriel Johnson, the catcher and leadoff hitter. So Johnson will step in with one out and one on. Is Rudoso looking for some insurance? Killip sets up outside. Gonzalez checks size at second. Now comes to the plate. Curveball swung on and shot back into the retaining wall. Strike one. He's pretty aggressive at the plate. I mean, he walked at once. He took the took the count full and ended up walking, but the, the rest of the time, he usually hits at the first or second pitch that he sees. Yes, he does. A little bit rare for a leadoff hitter. Gonzalez taking his time. And timeout asked for by Johnson and Granted. As Gonzalez and McKillop try to get on the same page out there. Of course, with the man at second, you're changing your pitch sequence pretty regularly. And the 0-1 pitch, and that one's going to be in the dirt. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. McKillop doing a nice job keeping that one in the glove and in front of him to keep size over at second. No, the one ball, one strike count. Gonzalez checks on the runner. Now comes to the plate, the 1-1 pitch, and that one going to get away from McKillop. And that will let Size trot down to third on the pass ball. And so a two and one count now at the plate to Johnson, the leadoff hitter. So an insurance run for Rudoso now just 90 feet away, which is one down. At this point, don't worry so much about the runner. Just worry about the guy at the plate, I'm thinking. Of course, anything in the air by Johnson gets that run home. 
And the 2-1 pitch, fastball swung on. That'll be a chopper on the hop. Ochoa with it, comes home, and not in time to get the runner as size will score. Johnson will reach on the fielder's choice. He will get the RBI, but that will make it an 8-2 ball game. So now it'll be Trenton Hall to the plate. So the fielder's choice for Johnson, the fielder's choice RBI, and he'll step out, and Ficaney will come in to run for him. As the number two hitter, Trenton Hall to the plate, walked and scored in the first, reached on an error and scored in the third, popped out in the fourth, and then singled in the fifth. A couple runs scored and a hit in three trips. And the pickoff attempt, Ficaney back in safely. As Lujan holds him on over there. McKinney is the courtesy runner for Johnson. Pitch, and that one nice is off pitch. the mark. Oh, just missed. Just missed, yep, ball one. So the one ball, no strike count. One run already across, one down for Rodoso. Here in this top of the seventh, Lovington needs two more outs to get back on, and that one pops out of the glove of McKillop, and that'll let Ficaney head on down to second. So now runner in scoring position for the Warriors, and ball two at the plate for Hall. So the two ball, no strike count. And timeout taken as Coach Cruz is going to come out and Wants to get his infield together and take a minute and see if he can settle everything down. While we've got a moment, big thank you to all of our great sponsors making Wildcat and Lady Cat Athletics possible here on the Lovington Sports YouTube channel, HobbsAmerica.com, and the Z94 KZOR Facebook page. Do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell your family and friends you can always watch absolutely free. And who knows, you subscribe to the YouTube channel, might even put $100 in your pocket. Once we get another 1,000 subscribers, so when we hit... I'll put another $100 out of my pocket, and some random subscriber will get that money. It's not coming from the sponsors, not coming from the stations. Just my way of saying thanks for subscribing. That's a pair of shoes I don't get. Well, we can we can arrange that, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like it when you give away money. I like for our for our, our viewers and our, our, you know, people who are following us to, to be able to earn that. That's a good thing. So if I give you the money and you decline it, I'll <laughs> give it to Dawn and she can buy shoes. 2-0 pitch, and that one is going to be in the dirt, ball three. Right now, if you're Gonzalez, you just need to throw strikes. Trust your trust your fielders. As Hall will step back in 3-0, and we've already seen Coach Barrera lets his Guys have the green light on 3-0, although it doesn't look like Hall did that time. Ooh, looked pretty good, but Ooh, the ump said ball four. Oh, okay. So that'll put Warriors at first and second, and now it'll be Justin Mendez to the plate. Mendez 0 for 3, but he was hit by a pitch and scored in the third inning. It flew out in the first, was hit and scored in the third, popped out in the fourth, flew out in the fifth. So the number three hitter for the Warriors has been held fairly quiet. And the first pitch to him will be away for ball one. So runners at first and second. Ridoso already with an insurance run across. Leads eight to two. They'd like to tack a couple more onto it if they could. Think an even bigger hole for the Cats to have to crawl out of. And the pitch swung on. That'll be a little line shot. Going to drop in in front of Rodriguez and then gets past him. That'll get one run home. That'll get two run home as Weiser has to come over and get it as Coach Barrera actually going to hold up Ficaney over at third. The throw comes in, but it does actually, not Actually, I'm get sorry. It. it scores Ficaney. Mm -hmm. He'll hold up Hall at third, right. but it'll be Mendez with the RBI single, and then he moves to second on the play in. And now it'll be Logan Sandoval to the plate. Now 9-2 to the score. Things just not quite going Lovington's way here. So one out, runners at second and third. Two have crossed the plate. And now it'll be Sandoval, who's scored a couple of those runs as an RBI and 
One, two, three hits to go with it. He's three for three, and the first pitch is away for ball one. So one ball, no strike count. As Gonzalez will deal the 1-0 pitch, swung on and fouled off. And the count evens up at a ball and a strike. So you've got Hall at third, Mendez at second. And a 1-1 count to Sandoval at the plate. Two runs across for Ruidoso here in their half of the seventh. Top seven. They lead it 9-2. 1-1 pitch on the way, curveball, and that one going to bounce. A kill up, though, sits on it oh. like an egg. Now they're going to get the rundown going. Pondo comes in, tosses to Got the pitcher, Gonzalez, and slap it down as Hall is going to be down. That will be 2-5-1 to to five to one for out number two. Now, in the process of the rundown, it will let Mendez get to third. But there is two down now, and it's a 2-1 count at the plate to Sandoval. Now you don't have to worry so much about the guy at third, and Coach Barrera going to come over and argue the call a little bit again. Coach, you're up 9-2. to two. I don't think you got to worry about it. Where's Lovington? May have a seven-run inning in him. We'll see. Anything can happen. They've got a third out to get here, though, and they need to just work on that, concentrate on that, then get to the dugout and see if they can break things open. So a two-ball, one-strike count to Sandoval at the plate. As Gonzalez looks in, gets the sign from McKillop, and the 2-1 pitch swung on, and that one's heading to the parking lot. And off the bottom of, I think it may have hit the fence. So protected the white Thunderbird over there. I had one just like it when I was much younger. And yes, it got dinged up several times. <laughs> and the one-two pitch, oh. and that one's going to be high. So it'll run the count full. Three balls, two strikes to Sandoval. And three and two, runner at third. Mendez with two down. So Gonzalez has what he wants, and the payoff pitch, and that one is going to be away for. Ah, uh -huh. caught the corner. No, no, just three. That was ball. Th that three. was ball three. That was okay. Ball three. I was trying to put another ball in there somewhere. A long time here. Yes, it is. And the payoff pitch, and that one's going to come inside. That will be ball four. Sandoval will. Head down to first, and that will put Warriors at the corners. And so that'll bring Omar Guerrero to the plate. Guerrero will be smoking triple down the line. Last time up, the call that was able to properly come to the plate, swung on and missed. And will head to second on DI, defensive, defensive indifference. indifference. Yeah. Still goes in as a stolen base, but right? I always do mark it with a little D. <laughs> oh, the old one pitch curveball. I don't know it's going to be high, high but there, but he always, it's, 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 it's right delayed. Right 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 that's always delayed. Get out of until that ringing and has been consistent all night. No complaints out of me. He's no more than usual when the one two pitch swung out of this, ring him up, sit him down. Good and time for the strike. Yes, it was. There. But two more insurance runs come across for Ruidoso in their half of the seventh. So Lovington's got some work to do as we head to the bottom of the supply. 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Devon Energy is proud to support the athletic programs of Lovington High School this season. By partnering with local schools in Lovington, Devon is making an investment in the long-term future of the community. Sports teach discipline, teamwork, and leadership. Skills our youth will use to succeed for a lifetime. From the Devon team to yours, Devon Energy wishes you good luck this season, both on the field and in the classroom. Go Wildcats! When it comes to your hard-earned money, Selecting the right bank is vital. Hi, I'm David Campbell, president of First American Bank in Lovington. First American Bank in Lovington is part of this community. So bank with trusted partners you know, and trusted partners that are part of this area we call home. First American Bank offers all the advantages big corporate banks do, and we do our banking with hometown support and commitment. 
Choose First American Bank, 19 West Washington in Lovington. We want to earn your trust, then earn your business. Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball on Lovington Sports YouTube and HobbsAmerica.com. In the top of the seventh inning, there were two runs on two hits, no errors, two left on base, and we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Lovington coming up for their last at-bat. They trail 9-2, to two, and with the call, here's DJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. Morgan, it'll be Auden Paredes, then Josiah Ghana, and Cam Ochoa do up. It is 8-9-1. and one. Actually, it'll be McKillop on for Ghana. So McKillop, it'll be Paredes, McKillop, and Ochoa due up for the Cats. So Paredes is 0 for 2. Still on the hill, Sandoval. Going to try and go the full way for Rudoso in this one, and he'll deal the first one. Fastball outside corner called strike one. Paredes is grounded out to Thetford at second twice, and the 0-1 pitch fastball swung on and missed. As Paredes waves it at one that was tailing out. And the 0-2 pitch fastball, that one right down the pipe. Yes, sir, strike three. That'll be the ninth K of the ball game for Sandoval. And one down for the Cats. Now it'll be Cole McKillop to the plate. His first at bat of the night. So McKillop on to catch for Gonzalez after he moved from beyond the plate out to the mound. And the first pitch to McKillop is at the belt inside corner, strike one. Looks like probably Sandoval heard from the coaches, just come out and deal. And the 0-1 pitch, and that one slips on him a little bit. It's up and in, ball one. Cam Ochoa waits on deck. McKillop out, now he settles back in. Johnson sets up outside the 1-1 pitch, that one right down the pipe, strike two. Good pitch there, McKillop holding off on it. Now the one-two pitch, swung on and missed as he chases the high heater. That is K number 10 for Sandoval, and Lovington is down to their final three strikes of the night. And that'll be Ochoa to the plate. Ochoa one for three. He reached on an unexpected bunt his last time up and then was out on a fielder's choice. First pitch to Ochoa, fastball swung on, and that one's hit off the hands. It's wow. to deep center field. It's, it's carrying, it carrying, carrying, and it is. Say bye-bye baseball. Cam Ochoa to dead center field. Touch them all, Cameron, as the Cats with the home run to center as that one got up in the jet stream and just kept carrying, 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 and then clears the wall. So touch them all, the solo shot for Ochoa cuts it down to a six-run Ruidoso lead. Even if you don't come back in this one, you still got something to feel good about. And who knows? Two-out rally time could be started right there with that solo dinger. Now, Sandoval had been dealing and living dangerous, and Cameron took it and shot it out of there. So now it'll be Matthew Hernandez to the plate. And as the DH, and he'll take the first pitch high for ball one. Let's see how Sandoval responds after giving up the dinger. And the 1-0 pitch swung on and missed as he has come out, and he's just going to keep, keep dealing the heat, looks like. So one ball, one strike count. Hernandez swings at one that was high and away, and that was strike three. Whoa, I had that. hello. I thought the first one was a ball, but that was strike three. So that'll be K number 11, and we'll end the ball game. The Cats will fall in this one, our final score. Rudoso 9, Lovington 3. We'll be back to wrap things up. Wildcat baseball continues in a moment. It's no secret, at some point you'll have a question or need to replace or fix something on your vehicle. Whether your vehicle is new or ancient, Lovington Auto supplies your trusted advisor when you need dependable auto parts. Not only do they have the parts you need, they have real answers to your real automotive questions, and that help keeps your vehicle running longer and stronger. Quality parts, helpful people. Lovington Auto Supply, 217 West Avenue D in Lovington. Napa, get up and go. Introducing a smarter, easier way to manage your Lee County Electric account. It is called Smart Hub. Now you can pay your bill anywhere, anytime, with 24-hour access to your account. It is free and simple to use. Just search for the Smart Hub app on your cell phone or device and download the free app or go to our website at lcacnet.com and look for the Smart Hub logo to view your account or pay your bill online. Managing your Lee County Electric account conveniently and securely with Smart Hub. Lee County Electric, owned by those we serve. 
Stone Oil Field Services says many traffic fatalities may be caused by an intoxicated driver. So do yourself and your community a favor and remember the three C's of safety, caution, courtesy, and above all, common sense. Safe and sober driving is everyone's responsibility. That message was from Stone Oil Field Services in Lovington, a name you can trust and depend on. For quality and integrity, call 575-396-1840. From the Stone family and staff at Stone Oil Field Services, Lovington Schools proudly supports their athletic teams and wants to encourage all teachers, students, and staff to keep pressing on. Wildcats, you are winners on and off of the court. Lovington Municipal Schools are proud of holding the utmost and highest standards. Go out there and be proud to be part of the Big Blue. For more information on what is happening now at Lovington Schools, log on to lovingtonschools.net and bet you won't be disappointed. Go Big Blue! Three claps and a woo! Welcome back to Wildcat Baseball at Lovington Sports U2 and HobbsAmerica.com. In the bottom of the seventh inning, a solo homer couldn't save Lovington as it's four batters up, three down, one run on one hit, no errors, nobody left on base. And the Lovington Cats fall in this one, 9-3. to three. With the wrap-up, here's TJ Miracle. Thank you very much, Don Morgan. Final line score in this one for the victorious Rodosa Warriors, who will improve to 7-2 and two on the year. They get nine runs on ten hits. They commit one error. They leave 11 runners stranded out on the base pass. For Lovington, three runs on six hits. They commit three errors, and they leave five stranded on the bases. The winner was Sandoval, who goes the whole way, seven innings pitched. Gives up three runs, all of them earned on those six hits. Strikes out 11 and walked two. The loss in the game goes to Ghana, Josiah Ghana. He went five innings and, as we mentioned earlier, gave up six runs, four of them earned on six hits. He struck out three and walked one. And then Gonzalez on in relief to wrap it up. So the Cats will fall to 3-10 and 10 on the season. But, you know, now they get the, a week off before Roswell High comes to town. They do. So a little bit of a rest. And uh, they, they played a pretty solid game. If it weren't for a couple, three errors that uh, were and a, and a hit batter that were costly in the form of, you know, a, a couple, three runs that ended up sort of uh, putting that distance there between Rodoso and Lovington there in the middle part of the game, you know, they had more of a chance to come back and, and keep it a little tighter and come back and, and try to even it up. So still, you know, not a bad game for them uh, playing against a, a good Rodoso team, taking some lessons out of it. They got uh, were able to hit the ball and uh, still do some good things in this game. Well, they could. And, of course, next Thursday night we will be right back here at the friendly confines of Wildcat Park with the Coyotes coming to town. So thank you for watching and... And thank you for listening. This has been an exclusive presentation of No Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports for Evie Stuber. Back at One Radio Square, keeping an eye and an ear on things for Don Morgan. I'm TJ Miracle saying so long. Thanks for watching and listening, and have a safe and happy Easter weekend. Good night, everybody. <laughs>